Patricia. Hello, hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. What reverence fear most has decided to come upon them? Don't forget that some few days ago there was a court judgment stopping the allocation of river state and uh, similarly for Barra talked about it but everyone didn't expect that to happen because rationally it shouldn't happen but shockingly the latest is that the allocation has been stopped and you're going to be hearing it from a very reliable source i tell you but however also for has decided to step up the fight by hitting the appeal court. All of this detail in a jiffy. Let's dive into the news. According to the news, the federal government has disclosed that the monthly funds from the federal accounts, Federal Account Allocation Committee, which is FAC, would no longer be paid to River State Government. This was confirmed by the spokesperson of the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, that's Bawa Mokwa. Mokwa said the decision is in compliance with the court order on the political situation in River State, though the spokesperson of the AGF's office confirmed that no state of the Federation had been paid the FAC revenue for the month of October, the government would respect the order, the court order as it pertains to River State. Let me quote it word for word. It said, what I got is that the October 2024 FAC has not been distributed yet. However, the federal government will obey the court order on the matter of River State allocation. Uh, now, the development is coming amidst the face of between Governor Similar Lai Fubara and his predecessor, who is now the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Recall that a court had ordered the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and the federal government to stop the payment of FAC revenue to River State until Governor Fubara represent the state's budget to the House of Assembly, recognized by the law. The ruling by Justice Joyce Abdul Malik of the of the Abuja Federal High Court also prohibited the CBN, the Accountant General of the Federation, Zenith Bank, and Assets Bank from granting Fubara access to funds from the Consolidated Revenue and Federation account. Meanwhile, the governor of uh, River State, as Governor Similai Fubara, as of today, urged the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja to set aside the judgment that barred the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, from releasing monthly allocations to River State. Now, the governor, through his team of lawyers, led by Mr. Yusuf Ali, Senior Advocates of Nigeria, San, prayed a three-member panel of the Appellant Court led by Justice Hama Baka to vacate the High Court order, which he maintained was issued in bad faith. He urged the Appellant Court to allow his appeal marked CA slash ABJ slash CV slash 1303 slash 2024 and nullify adverse orders that Justice Joyce Abdul Malik of the Federal High Court made against the state in the judgment she delivered on October 30th. Governor Fubara's plea came on a day the Justice Baka led panel consolidated five other appeals that arose from the said judgment of the High Court. The appeals were marked as CA slash ABJ slash CV slash 1277 slash 24. CA slash ABJ slash CV slash 1196 slash 24, CA slash ABJ slash CV slash 1287 slash 24, CA slash ABJ slash CV slash 1293 slash 24, and CA slash ABJ slash CV slash 1360 slash 2024. Aside from Governor Fubara, other appellants in the matter included the River State Government, the Accountant General of River State, and Zenith Bank PLC. It will be recalled that the High Court had restrained the CBN from further allowing River State Government to draw funds from the consolidated revenue account. The restraining order followed a suit marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 984 slash 24, which brought before the court by the Honorable Martins Amarini led faction of the River State House of Assembly. Cited defendants in the matter included the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Zenith Bank PLC, Assets Bank PLC, and the Accountant General of the Federation AGF. Others were Governor Fubara, the Accountant General of Rivers, Rivers Independent Electoral Commission, Research, Chief Judge of Rivers, Honorable Justice S.A. Amadi, Chairman of Research, Honorable Justice 
outdoor force and then retired and the government of river states while the appellant through their respective counsel besieged the appellant court to allow the appeal on the other hand the honorable amartin samuel faction of the river state house of assembly through their team of lawyers led by mr jb daudu san asked the court to dismiss this appeal and confirm the high court's judgment after all the sides adopted their briefs of ag argument today the panel reserves the judgment till a date it will communicate to the parties the factional members of the river state assembly loyal to immediate past governor of the state and current minister of the federal capital territory yes so Mike, had persuaded the lower court to withhold all federal monthly allocation meant for river state now they also went further that they predict they predicated their case on the ground that governor fubara refused to comply with an order of court that directed him to represent the 2024 appropriation bill of the state before them. Governor Fubara had insisted that the Honorable Amewele led group had since ceased to be lawmakers in the state, having decamped from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, which sponsored their election to the All Progressive Congress, APC. Wow, this is serious, I must say. And uh, I think this is the beginning of another fresh crisis fresh in River State. No one expected this to happen. Uh, yeah, the court judgment came. But then a lot of people were believing that now that it's going to be appeal, or now that it is in appeal, that the federal government will continue with the payment. But uh, shockingly, to hear from Bauer, who is an insider in Accountant General Office, it leaves a lot of people with so much shock. But then the big question is, what will happen to the workers in River State? And How are you going to be? Though. Yeah, this yellow period. And apart from being yellow period, the cost of living is so high. And you can imagine going to work and at the end of the day you are not being paid. What do you think will be the situation like right now if the uh, civil servant and other persons who are going to be paid, if they hear this kind of story? Um, well, uh, Fubara had told them when this whole thing began, that they would keep getting their salaries. Mm. It was an assurance that he gave to them to appease their heart and help them not to get agitated, worried, and probably hit the streets. Hunger, not the respect of yes. hunger, bad. If you like, be a nice guy. When you are, when somebody around you is hungry, you see a level of madness that you don't believe a gentleman can exhibit. Some people call it small madness. So if, for whatever reasons, the, the economy is not smiling and you still will not pay them that little stipend that they're looking forward to. They just recently increased their salaries to 85 minimum wage yeah. and 85,000 naira. And of course, they're also looking forward to some, you know, you know, freebies from the government this Christmas, you know, and all of a sudden they're not even getting anything. There are lots of developmental mm -hmm. projects going on in local government areas. Come on, I would have thought that there would be, you know, they would, whatever issues it is, they would probably set it aside. I guess that's why this appellant court is being set, you know, to see how they can, you know, fast track, you know, all of this. And let's hope that uh, they will give their judgment and their verdict very quickly yeah. before the end of the month. Really. Because before we are looking at the next few days, facts should be paying other state. So you can imagine, and, and, and one of the things I heard about the the characteristics of that FAC account is that uh, it is always at a zero level. You yes. know, they're pushing money there, and that money is dispensed, which therefore means that if they're not going to be paying River State, they are not going to pay them for the whole month. And uh, I don't think that uh, we are seeing uh, light at the end of the tunnel in all of this, because if they refuse to pay them, that state may go into an unprecedented situation, which will not be good enough for this administration. I, I think at this point, uh, the government should look into this case seriously because all this fight as we're looking at it right now has to do with the constitution these guys have become from the people democratic party to the apc and by provision of the constitution they are meant to cease acting as lawmakers the big question is why is the court still recognizing them as lawmakers those are some of the questions that i feel that they need to rule out so that uh, they should give consideration you know another thing that looking at you know some of these cases are they've piled them up you yeah. know, over 20 over 30 so i'm almost heading towards 50 so they are just consolidating some of these cases repetitions here and there joining issues so they're just consolidating those cases so they can trash it quickly and one of such cases is actually this martin amoyle stuff yeah you know and you know why these guys if you ask me they're just bidding for time just yeah. the same thing pdp is do it, you know, keep shifting their meetings, postponing indefinitely. They do they already you know, commit, yeah. You know, so they keep shifting it. I think that's the same thing they're trying to do. So the appellate court needs to really, you know, 
fast track their hearing and their verdict so that you know rivers will not go the other way because if eventually the riverians wait for their salaries they don't get it no matter how appealing and nice the governor is if he's not paying them stories is for the gods mm-hmm. give us the money stop Simple. spending our story the only way you can you can make sense is you've paid us salaries for what we have worked and i believe that might lead to shutting down of the entire Do you understand? business in reverse and if that happens there will be a, 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 a an effect a very negative one exactly. on the economy of the country i shouldn't even be telling they should know better really. exactly. but let's say it plays out all right, that's where we'd like to leave it. Let's meet our comments and talk more on this. What's your position in respect to these uh, doomsday looming?